Welcome to the Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. I'm Sue Ripsch and today I'm going to show you how to start a Celtic line chain. To my left are some samples and here is a Celtic line bracelet made out of two-tone of sterling silver rings and yellow gold filled. Beside that is Celtic rondelle where I added some bling by adding some rondelles to the weave as well. Both of the directions for both of these can be found in my books, Classic Chainmail Jewelry and Classic Chainmail Jewelry with a Twist, that you can buy on Fire Mountain Gems and Beads online. So to begin with making the chain, I'd like you to close two large jump rings and place them on a wire, put them down toward the middle, and twist the ends of the wire shut. That just gives you a tool to help hold on to the chain while it is short. Then I'd like you to take an open small ring and run it through the two large rings and close it. And then I'd like you to take another small ring and run it through the same path, which means you run it through the same two large rings and close it and it should be side to side with the last ring. So now you have uh, two large rings and two small rings. Now I'm going to do what's called the floater ring. And let me show you where you're going to place it. It will be a large open ring that's going to go between the large rings on one side, across and between on the other side, and then it will come around the small rings on the bottom. That's why it's called a floater. It goes between and around and not through any other rings. So let me put one in place. There. See the floater ring? It goes between and around. Now I'd like you to take a large ring and run it through the two small rings on one side of the floater and close it. So it looks like that. And then I'd like you to turn it over and take a large ring and run it through the two small rings on the other side of the floater. So now here it is from a side view and here it is from the front. All right. Your next step, you're going to take two small rings and run them both through the two large rings on the end. So you have your two large rings and your two small rings again. Now I'm going to place a floater between and around and close it. So there you have a new floater. And then I'm going to take two large rings and run one of them through the two small rings on one side of the floater and one through the two small rings on the other side of the floater. And here's the beginning of your Celtic line chain. So I hope you'll buy my books to find that pattern and many others, Classic Chainmail Jewelry and Classic Chainmail Jewelry with a Twist. Fire Mountain also sells other tools and jewelry making supplies. Thank you very much.